Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to day 24. My name is Greg Westmoreland. Of course, I'm the children's pastor here. And today we've got a really fun lesson. Before I get into that, I want to go over a, um, a story. I want to share with you all a story that happened to me just this morning. I was over at one of our elementary schools, and I was in a classroom, and I was talking with the teacher, and she uh, shared with me that she'd been a teacher for about 12 years, and uh, we were talking about all the stuff that had happened over the last 12 years, and I asked her, I said, if you could see everything your whole career in front of you, would you have still been a teacher? And she didn't even hesitate. She said, absolutely. And I said, why? There's there's so many things, uh, bad things that, that she had shared, and she said, because I love the kids. They're, they're like my own, and, and I now do anything for them. And that kind of rolled right into what I'm going to be sharing with y'all today. We're going to be talking about the choice that Jesus made to come to earth. And in the, in the book that Doc wrote, he asked, if you were in the womb and you had the choice to be born, you know, would you choose it? And we don't have that choice. Of course, none of us, I'm, I'm assuming none of us remember being born. My first conscious memory was breaking my nose on a coffee table when I was about four. So I was not given that choice, and, and, and we're born. We just are. Jesus had that opportunity. He saw his life all the way from, from birth to death and beyond, and he chose to come to earth and be born anyway. Our scripture that I'm going to read from is in Colossians chapter 1, in verse 16. It says this. It says, For by him all things were created in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things were created through him and for him. That is establishing his godhood, that he wasn't just born as a baby, but he was God first, and then he came as a baby. And in verse 17, it says this, and he is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body of the church. He is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, and that in everything he might be preeminent. This just establishes uh, his Godhood, one verse after another. And when we think about his life and what he saw in advance, it just, it, it fills me with a new appreciation for him. I know at Christmas time, we celebrate Jesus's birth but what this lesson teaches us today is there more, there's more to it than that. We also need to celebrate his choice that he made to come. He saw in advance the people who would be mocking him. He saw the every bruise that he was going to get. He saw every pain that he was going to have, the people around him who were hurting, who would pass away, and he would get to experience that. He saw all that, and he chose to come anyway. And he chose because he didn't focus on the bad or or what we would say, you know, he dies at the end. A lot of people say at the end on that. And Jesus, that was, he knew that was not the end. That was just uh, one part of his plan that had started all the way back uh, at the beginning of time. And we talked about in previous days how God had been moving pieces around and getting ready for his plan. And this was just another part of it. And it was a wonderful part of it. But Jesus knew that uh, his birth was going to be a way where he could show people how to be a servant, and his death was going to be a way that he could forgive our sins and redeem us to himself. And he saw not just the results of that uh, immediately after his death, but he was looking all the way to my life and your life. Uh, his story still isn't over. And so today, we just want to focus on that and, and, and how amazing it is that Jesus came to be a perfect example of a servant and also as the perfect sacrifice so God could redeem himself uh, to us and uh, we, could, we could have a relationship with him. And I'm so thankful for that. So I want to ask everybody to pray with me today. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time. We thank you that you stepped out of heaven, that you, being God and knowing everything, still chose to come and be born as a baby and live a life to sacrifice yourself to redeem us to you so we can have that relationship with you. Lord, we ask that you would help us not just to see your birth, but also to see the choices that you made, the, the, the incredible sacrifice that you made in advance. Lord, we ask that you will watch over us, that you protect us all, and we ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Thanks for joining me today, and we'll see you tonight at one of our Christmas Eve services, either at 3 or 5 o'clock.